One year ago, the Dallas Safari Club auctioned off a hunt for a rhino in Namibia. And someone paid $350,000 uh, to be able to kill a rhino and import his parts uh, back into the United States. It caused a huge uproar. This week, the Dallas Safari Club is once again auctioning off hunts for many uh, animals around the world, and activists are outraged. There is an auction that is beginning this week in Dallas, and there are many animals that are being hunted. The Dallas uh, Safari Club says that it is a nonprofit hunting conservation organization, that they have a membership approaching 6,000, and that they have granted almost $4 million to directly support their mission of conservation, education, and protecting hunters' rights. Yeah, the executive director of the organization, I'm going to read you what he says in, uh, in media coverage, is that in Africa they claim that they are building houses, clinics, and water wells for poor villages with the proceeds that they uh, earn from auctioning off these hunts. I mean, to me, it sounds like a blood sport under the guise of conservation. Um, I don't buy it at all. You do not hunt an endangered species or a vulnerable species in the name of conservation. There's enough organizations out there that are doing similar things by not hunting and killing animals. There are plenty of safaris out there where you can go and do a wildlife photography or a wildlife film safari and not kill the animals and the proceeds from that does go to conservation efforts. So I, I strongly disagree that you must kill an animal in order to save that animal. It's, it's not the way and it's not the course of action that needs to be done. By the way, if anyone from the Dallas Safari Club wants to come on and talk, we would love to have them on. And uh, we're very, very eager to uh, debate this, frankly. And uh, so you are invited on any time. Now, uh, let's get back to the controversy over uh, last year's uh, black rhino uh, issue. So last year's expo drew protests because they auctioned the permit to hunt a rare black rhino in Namibia. And as you mentioned, Donnie, the winning bid was $350,000. The organization says that will support Namibia's rhino conservation, but critics, of course, say, as you just heard from Christopher Gervais, that you don't have to kill animals to protect them, that that's an oxymoron. Personally, um, I've been reading that there were tens of thousands of black rhinos in Africa back in the 1960s. The reason the black rhino population is plummeting is plain and simple. It's because of poaching, because people want ornaments and they think that there's some medicinal value, which is nonsense. It's because of trophy hunting, and it's because of loss of habitat. So, uh, Donnie Moss of VerTurn.net, I understand that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, Service has to make a decision as to whether or not it's going to give a permit to allow the importation of the black rhino trophy. So, in other words, they haven't even killed or hunted that black rhino that was at the center of last year's issue and controversy. And it's right now the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has to determine essentially whether that rhino lives or dies. Is that correct or not? The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service can't uh, make a determination as to whether or not the country of Namibia allows a hunter to come in and shoot that rhino. However, they can prevent that rhino's body parts from being imported by denying a permit. Now, the Dallas Safari Club insists that they're going to get that permit, that this is really no big deal. In fact, they're helping conservation by allowing this rhino to be um, hunted down. Uh, it's in incredible to me, Jane, the lengths uh, that these hunters will go to to kill these special animals. I mean, their thirst for blood is, is un unquenchable.